So, you want to install Unity and make some games? All right, it's very easy to install. Let's start. Like any modern developer, when we want to find something, we Google it. Download Unity. The first link is from unity3d.com and points directly to the download page. Now, you can either download Unity alone or download Unity Hub, which allows you to manage multiple Unity installations, create and manage your projects, and a few more things. And that's what we want. Let's click on Download Unity Hub. I'm on a Mac, so I get a DMG. On Windows, you will get an .exe file. Just run the file and, obviously, read all the terms of services, and then we click on Agree to continue. On Mac, it's straightforward. Just drag Unity Hub to the Applications folder, and you are done. Now we can start it, and the first time on Mac, it's going to complain and ask you if you trust this software, and of course we do. That's Unity Hub. Next, we are going to create a Unity account. On the top right, click on the profile icon and choose Sign In. If you already have a Unity account, just log in, otherwise click on Create One. You will have to enter your email, choose a username, a password and enter your name. Pretty standard. Just make sure you are old enough to agree to the terms. Alright, agree and acknowledge. Personally, I also check marketing because I like to get those news as it's my main tool, but it's completely optional. Great, now create Unity ID. After that, you will get an email with a link to confirm your registration. And once this is done, you can go back into Unity Hub and you should be automatically logged in. In Unity Hub, you can manage your projects. You have also access to tutorials, to the Unity community, and also to the Unity installations. Before we install a version, we should handle the license. Unity is free, but you have to activate your license. To do that, simply click on the cogwheel on the top and under License Management, click on Activate New License. I'll go with a personal license, which is free. If you are just starting out and are not a company, you can simply choose a second option. Click on Done and we are good to go. On the bottom, you even have a success message. Let's go back and finally install Unity. Go to the Installs tab and then click on Add. You have the choice between many versions. You can also have multiple versions installed and manage them via Unity Hub. It's very useful. Most of the time, you want to stay with the recommended release which is marked as LTS, meaning it has long-term support on it. You are sure it's going to be stable for the next year at least. Click on Next and there you can choose which module you want to install. I always leave the documentation checked and anyway later you can add and remove modules. It's mostly needed for building your game for certain platforms. Great! Click on Done and your first Unity version will be downloaded and installed. It might take a while. Awesome, now you have Unity. You are good to go. See you next time.